You know it's not every day that a company invites you to come down, hold on, and take a tour of their warehouse. Well, as some of y'all and soon after watching this video, everyone knows that I had just signed a deal on with uh, Bison Coolers. So, you know, instead of taking the time, you know, ordering a cooler online and calling it good, I actually took the time to go down there, visit them, and actually build, not really build, just pick out a cooler I want, have them do what I, you know, what I wanted to do with it. And this is what I got. Right there. This is, uh, I got the nice foam, the nice foam top on it. So, if I'm bed fishing or something, you know, I'm, I'm not in a tournament when I do this. Um, you can stand on top, get in there, and really get to see them fishes. Because I'm a, I'm a short dude. I need all the help I can get. I mean, this is the lid and everything. But, I'm going to do a little video of this cooler. Um, up on top, as you can tell, I got the pad. It's got a ruler. 0 to 15 inches. 25 quart. This is a... Let's see. Move this to the... 25 quart. This is a true 25 quart, unlike uh, competitors coolers where they say 25 it's not true 25 quart and unlike other competitor coolers this cooler you can actually put a basket in the 25 quart version um it's got a nice really durable uh gasket it's got the logo on the inside of the litter which is really cool i'm actually gonna order um some led lights to go on the bottom just because y'all know i like led lights in fact you know i've got them on my boat i got them in my truck running them today doing a little experiment to see how long it'll last before it drains the battery it's going on two days now and the truck will still start so you know, your your typical drain plug like every other cooler that's ever been made they all have drain plugs that's nothing new um but what sets these people apart is this is made in the united states designed in texas um i went there and i'm about to post what all i learned from mr jeremy he's a really cool dude once again thanks for taking me taking the time to show me around the place it's a great little operation out of texas uh fort worth area a little it's like north of irving or something like that but yeah this is i mean it's a solid build cooler it's got thick walls got the logo it's got you know the, the big straps that are molded into it it's got these other straps which i like these better than on the yeti i had um just because two people can carry this and it makes it a heck of a lot easier but yeah that's that's the cooler i mean I, I really like the top i'm gonna put a shoeless decal i gotta find where my other one is but i know where that's at but um got the cooler ready to rock and roll we're headed to the lake tomorrow i'm gonna be adding a bison sticker somewhere in that vicinity on my window you gotta rep the, represent the trucks otherwise you ain't no fisherman but Having said that, here's the uh, here's the video. Here is the the video that we made when we went down to Texas. Me and my fiance went down there, and we made this video. I, I did some filming, and you know, if y'all are out looking for a cooler, tell them Sheila sent you. You know, it's. Uh, I told them I said, you know, I got a small operation going. I only got 1,700 followers between Instagram and and uh, YouTube combined. But hey, that's 1,700 more fans than they had before so once again huge shout out and thank you for bison to uh thank you to bison for letting me join the field staff hopefully you know this is the beginning of a long relationship and hopefully i work my way up to get up on some of those levels of robert field and stuff and i just everything starts small and grows and what better company to start out with than some company that's three or four hours away. I mean, I can just get in my truck and drive. That's what we did. So sit back, relax, enjoy the video. We are here. Oh, this is cool. So everything we do comes to this facility and then we distribute. So we've got a couple different customer types that we sell to, not just direct to consumer in the dealer network but we do a lot on the corporate side where we customize products so like all this right here is stuff waiting to be laser engraved the oh, wow. boxes there. so we do a ton of customization hard coolers soft coolers drinkware hard cases and we've got this is quite the operation i mean are these all your laser engraved stuff y'all done so far yeah these are just no we've 
Those are just samples. We've done we've done quite a few. You can actually see the machines in here running. Pieces last week. Woo! That's a fun. Look at that. So, who they get made out? So, hard tools made in Colorado. The soft tools are made in Tennessee. So, everything's hard... made in the U.S. Everything except the drinkware, because there's no one in the U.S. that can do that. Yeah, so, it's, it's about a $10 million investment, and there's some some government restrictions on it, so huh. it's a little bit more challenging. So, anything that can be made here is made. Here. Right? Yeah. I mean, that's part of the reason why I went with bison, because they're made here in the U.S. Absolutely. And that's a big selling point for most people anyways. It, it, it is, and we think it resonates well with people. Oh, yeah. Anything that comes in, whether it's an order online or for a dealer network, everything gets filled out of here. So this is going on the pallet. So they'll make sure that we utilize all the potential space we can, and then the dealer will get this. It'll leave today, and the dealer will get it in one to two business that's days. That's cool. From FedEx and the LTL, and then the trucks will pick up and distribute to our network. There you go. But we do cu the customization that we do here is our laser engraving, our lid graphics, custom hard cases, and then we also customize the soft packs. Dude, the soft packs are legit. Well, my question is, so with the market flooded with coolers, how did what made you? Like, so we we were in the market before it was actually cool to be in the the cooler business. I mean. It, it was basically just a handful of competitors. And in the premium space, maybe two or three. Mm -hmm. And then it just so happened that it blew up afterwards. Blew up. But fortunately, being an early mover in that, you've kind of established your footprint, you've built your fan base, you've got your distribution network. So I got you. that helped a lot. Looking back, you have to be a little bit crazy to, right? to, to enter this business. Right? And when I see people do it, I'm like, oh. Don't bless, do it. <laughs> bless your heart. <laughs> don't do it, man. Don't do it, yeah. And it's not because I don't want them to compete, it's it's just that it's it's hard to be successful. A six pack cooler by night. So we got a couple of different designs and we're still fine tuning it, but feel like uh feel like we'll get this. Well ladies and gentlemen, that has been our adventure here at Bison Coolers. Check them out on the on the old interwebs. We will drop a link in the description below. Got the cooler in the back. Hi guys. Beautiful fiance over there. We are about to go back north, back to Oklahoma. It's been a long weekend, I gotta go to work tomorrow. We'll see y'all later. So the first time we're actually using this cooler, we're here at Bucky's in Texas. We're actually putting the, the, the food that Meemaw is sending back with us to Oklahoma. And what better way to break in the new cooler than with great food that's home cooked.